do 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 take 389 187,000 well hello guys boosh 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 <laughs> ah cars straight away let's go around the front boosh take 597,851 Jesus Christ hello guys and welcome back to the e-bike note woohoo <laughs> Oh, it's nice to be uh, all up and running again. I've had a little bit of an issue. A uh, few things been going on, as always, this week. So, I went to do a video. Had problems with the whole sensor wires again. Oh, uh, stupid plugs I've put on. But the spare connectors, I need to put uh, some proper plugs on. And uh, I've been doing, I did a night shift this week and it absolutely destroyed us. I was working with my apprentice and uh, the only one giving us a cold as well, so I'm absolutely ill, um, absolutely loaded. But you know, it's all it is. Rock hard, come on. <laughs> yes, it's grey and overcast and a horrible, miserable, poxy, bloody day here in England. However, uh, can't let that put us off having an e-bike ride, can we, guys? So I sorted the plugs out this morning, and uh, I've been meaning to call up, go and see my dad's new shop, his dad and his wife. I'm opening a new uh, deli shop here in Northumberland, so I want to go and try all the food out. Go and see what it's like. Woohoo! Take the bike for a run. Here we go. Oh, get complicated. I want to go. Oh, I see. Meant. Yes, baby. Stage one, we're running out of here for now. Uh, didn't even know which is the best way to get down here. Oh, it's bloody Baltic again, like. You know what it is? I would love to move away. Can you imagine living in a hot, sunny climate? You go out on your bike, it's like my dream come true. Someone who one of my motocross mates. He's moved to Spain. And he uh, shipped his motorbike over there. And literally, you go out the back garden over there, straight onto the mountains. I mean, Oh, who wouldn't love to do that? And no, we come out in the rain, shrivel our nut sacks up. Everything seems to be running all right today, though. It's been a good few miles so far. And uh, I don't know what that wire issue was, but I don't know. I got, it out, I got the bike out the back of the van and I bashed the wires on the back because uh, now I've got the smaller wheels on it. You've got to use a ramp to get it in the back of the van. And uh, I took it out without the ramp and it bashed on the wires, so I think that's where the issues has come from. Wah. As of uh, Just a little... Fuck's sake. Uh, just a little update from last week, guys, as well. Uh, what about putting the bike on the road? It's still a baby. 100% sure, but I did a little bit more research about the sounds of it. The only way I can do it is to uh, register it as a motorbike. Well, if I register it as a motorbike, it means it's going to be a Kawasaki or, you know, I've got to tell lies one way or another. And I'm going to register it as having, having an engine. Another issue I'll have is uh, MOTs because uh, obviously there's no emissions or anything, so I'm not too sure if you would have to use a specialist MOT place to MOT the bike. Many of you guys know, or any of you uh, have tried registering a bike before, one of these uh, home-built electric ones, by all means uh, let us know, let us know how you've done it, because it would be much appreciated. Uh, more so for the insurance, being uh, one of the lads who had the conversation the other day, who was saying about uh, insurance, like it would be a nightmare for running into a car or something, I guess. They would just have to sue us, let's face it, you know what I mean. Uh, or I would try and fix it myself, maybe. But anyway, uh, it's not just the insurance for that, it's the insurance for uh, if the thing gets stolen now. I know I've got a tracker built on the bike, but uh, it's not necessarily a, a deterrent, is it? You know, it's a constant worry on one of these bikes that it's going to get stolen. You can't leave it outside of the shop, you can't take it anywhere really. You've got to be constantly on it. I guess if I took it down to some of these cities, uh, you never know what would happen for it, you know what I mean? following the learner driver. 
we really need a front headlight for this as well guys so if any of you know or can recommend anything for us uh, with an LED light so that would look smart I'm thinking more like a number board like a uh, motocross bike one I wonder where the lights in so if any of you can think of any or you know know of any shops or can send us any links by all means please do I'm only in stage one as well, there's something else I wanted to mention. This whole stage one, stage two, stage three malarkey. My bloody arse is this only 250 watt in stage one. There's maybe it's on eco board in stage one, but I mean, we're toddling around here. I know we're behind the learner, but I mean, we'll be doing 25, 30, won't we? And I'm only on like a tiny fraction of the throttle, and this is on stage one as well, so. I think somebody somewhere is telling porkies about it. I think I'm off for the day today as well. I think I'll go and see my mum. She's going away on holiday next week. I haven't seen her for a while, so I think I'll go for a cruise over there. But I know I'm about halfway to my mum's house now. She's not called to see my dad. He's too much further down the stair road. <coughs> oh, dearly me. Oh, we've got some uh, Lycra lovers on the way. Go on, love. Whoa! Here's some boy racer and his exhaust is all behind us. I don't know if he's turned off or what. I think he has. Whoa! Stage one. Do stage one to stage three. Whoa! Stage three is definitely more powerful, right? Obviously, I guess. Would be a stupid thing to report on, wasn't it? Oh. But I'm having dinner, I might have a bacon sandwich or something. I think I don't even know what to serve yet. Just for any of you local people out here, I might as well do a little bit of advertising for my dad's new shop. It's called the Little Deli. It'll be here in Stake Ford, just outside Ashington. If any of you just want to come and try it. Apparently the food's really nice. Whoa, it's only in the first week of trading, so. Whoa, I've got some looks there, get the throttle on. <laughs> right, here we go, I think we're at the shop now. Put my indicator on. Doop, 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 doop. Here we go, get a picture for you. New deli shop, little deli shop. Oh, dearie me. Hello? Hey, how are you doing? Hi, freezing night, but I'm not bad. So, is this a steak machine? This is me beast, mate, aye. Absolutely class. I've come on nothing. From Blythe? Yeah, I've come about seven miles or something so far on it. Uh, not long, mate, about 15 minutes or something. Mint man. Probably let me buy that. Okay. Oh, it's my, my bubble maker machine. <laughs> you can turn it on, mate, with a. Uh... <laughs> I've got any bubbles in it. It's my bubble maker machine and uh... it's Mint man. Just come over here today. Aye. Will do I. Do you want to have a gun on it, like? Yeah. I'm going to let me bike. Oh, really? That goes like a motorbike, and there's no slow start on it. There is now. I've got. What's the speed you're allowed to go? I don't know. I thought it was only. 35 or 40. 50. 50. This does. 50. It's not allowed. It does. 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 And it's um, just looks like a motor, motorbike. Bro. It didn't want to build it. It's it's it's, it's, no, it's a progression. It's, the, this is a progression I've had it built now for nearly a year. It's all the rubber. It's a mountain bike one. Look, I can pedal it. There's no motor there. Look, that's just mountain bike. Woohoo!
<laughs> but my arse isn't getting wet, I think we should create a song. A lot like Durham, a little bit uh, snobby, so we'll see what the Mortarians, I don't even know if that's what you call them, but we'll call them Mortarians for the day, so these guys think of it, you'll be careful there love. So we'll put the indicator on, I think we're going to go around the roundabout, do need to get for an indicator for this bike, I believe it's flashing there. Could be cars behind us an idea about what we're doing. On the roundabout. Oh dearie me. Uh, we'll just head off over this way, turn that off. Okay, we'll put it back in the middle. So this is uh, Morbus Town that we're pulling into now guys, I'm pedalling. Another like we love us. Making it hard work. It's going to be an electric bike. So we'll put some indication on, check the shoulder, slow down a little bit. It's creeping up a little bit fast. Oh, and around the corner. Get the indicator off and go. Woohoo! Maneuvers are safe, one. jobs are good. It's a little bit freezing. We got the arm signal for this one because uh, we have a dodgy turn. We'll put this on as well. And there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Jobs are good and done. Make sure it's turned off, and off we go again.
people around here haven't seen me bike before. It's, uh, I think it's the first, second time I've been over the motors on this. And we've got like, 75 volts. That's not bad, 6 volts all the way over to here. No, 75 now, yeah, 6 volts. Do a hand signal. I'm not going to see me, ma. Woohoo! <laughs> Turn the shit off. Stop the counter back again, dead. Cut on, Mike. It will be.